Welcome back to another video boys, Mike here, and today guys we'll be discussing the two new weapons being brought into BRM5 along with my thoughts on the week 1 Christmas update, and then I'll be talking about what I think is going to be brought into week 2. For the next two weapons being brought into BRM5, we have the M9 Beretta and then we have the FAL. Some call it the FAL, some call it the FAL. I say both if I were to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Before we dive into the video, if we could hit a thousand likes, I'll possibly do another video where I share new information with you guys about new updates. Now that we know the upcoming weapons being brought into BRM5, let's talk about the first one here. We're going to dive into the FNFAL. If you guys don't know, it's a battle rifle with high damage but high recoil. If you want a better understanding of the FAL, in case you have zero clue of what it is, pretty much think of the SCAR in the game. The SCAR has high damage, high recoil, but low ammo. This is pretty much what the FNFAL is going to be. It's going to be high damage high recoil but low ammo that's pretty much how it's gonna go one thing that you guys should consider is that whenever they do release a weapon they most likely change the statistics of it to make it more balanced for the game so pretty much if the fal comes out and it's like overpowered don't expect it to be overpowered for much longer they're definitely gonna make a change to it just like the mp5 if in case you guys don't know the mp5 was strangely like it was very good when it came out with i believe tokyo i do remember it sounded like a nail gun pretty much and everyone was using the mp5 before all these other weapons came to be and uh this might be the case with the fal maybe it's gonna be overpowered maybe it's not and they're gonna make some changes though so pretty much what i could say is scar users will most likely make the change to the fal or they might sit with the scar who knows but most likely though if you could handle the scar i'm sure you could handle the fal because the fal would be somewhat similar to the scar in terms of recoil if not higher if you never really liked using the scar because if it's recoil you're gonna have a hard time using the fal that's what I think, and um, who knows, you're not going to know until you give it a shot, so everything I could be saying here, just take it with a grain of salt. I'm pretty much just giving my own opinion on how I think this gun's going to be turning out into BRM5. Let me know in the comments section what you actually think the FNFAL will turn out to be. I personally think that it's going to be one of the most dominant weapons in the game, but it's going to be handled by very little amount of users. Now moving on to the secondary, we have the M9 Beretta. With the M9 Beretta, it's pretty much the most basic and common weapon in most games. It's a common starter weapon to start off with, and I do believe the M9 was actually in this game, but it just got taken out and replaced by the Glock, and then now it's making a return, remodeled, and all that jazz. Do correct me in the comment section down below if the M9 was actually not in the game at the start. In the Platinum 5 Discord, I've seen a lot of users want the M9 Beretta to be added, along with the FAL actually. Both weapons are pretty highly recommended or highly suggested in the Platinum 5 Discord, and now that they are bringing it out, what do you guys actually think of it? Let me know in the comment section down below if you're actually excited. And then also comment, what kind of weapons do you actually want to see uh, add on into BRM5. I personally felt like the CZ75 is a great addition into the pistols and now that we're getting another new pistol I feel like that's a good variety of pistols that we're now receiving into the game and now that we're also having another battle rifle that's gonna be amazing. Now switching gears onto week one review pretty much what went down is the new naval docks that got introduced we have the new helicopter features you got the new ground vehicle features and the random world events just like the new compounds pretty much being added into the map. I personally felt like the helicopter features was probably the highlight along with the docks itself into the Christmas update only because of the co-pilot cameras with the IR and also the tracking functionality like that is probably the best thing I could have asked for because I think I was probably one of those people that really wanted those co-pilot -camera, co cameras back into the game because in case you guys didn't know it actually was in the game and they took it out and now that it's finally back it's like I felt like it was nostalgic too to have it back and I think that's why a lot of us enjoyed it. A little cool thing too is actually them adding the little Christmas tree. I don't know why I'm such a big fan of the lights, man. Like, I love seeing so much lights in the game. And especially with that update too, the vehicle lights, oh my gosh. Your flashlight on your helmet, flashlight on the gun, and the star on the tree. Like, oh my god, guys. Like, holy crap. The lighting is amazing right now in Roblox, and I'm a big fan of it. That was definitely a highlight for me because it just it looks so much more advanced and the lighting makes sense now. And just to have the flashlight on your gun actually like sway properly and then you have your helmet too, like it's, not, it's just not a block of light. I really did appreciate that. Along with the new actual little compounds too, I actually like how there's more places to raid because I felt like the map was kind of getting a little boring because there wasn't much things to do. Now you have a lot more things to do with stealing trucks, stealing helicopters. A better place to grind now for many of you guys trying to work up the ranks and the stars or whatever you want to call it. 
I feel like with the new buildings they add into desert, they could do so much with it too. Especially with us, once they could release the disable and compound feature, could you imagine what we could do with those uh, desert buildings and such? Like, I can't wait for that. And that was such a plus for them to do a revamp on desert. Like, I was not expecting that whatsoever. I thought they were just going to leave desert and add new places. But, holy crap, they got me there. And that was very well done. Now, with the docks, what I wasn't expecting was actually to have a little marker on the anti-airs. That's a really cool feature that I didn't really expect them to add. And now that there's two anti-airs and that they're very good, I can't imagine what the turrets at the Hornet space would actually like look like and how they'd operate. Because if that's very, if that anti-air is very good, could you imagine those two turrets at the front of the base actually working? I can't even imagine how deadly that would be. The best part about this guys is that it's just the beginning. This is only update one. We have so many more updates to get through. We have the update that's coming on the 26th for open world. And then we have the update that's coming on the second, which is for PVP and the flight update. Like I can't stress enough how much I'm excited for this one. And I'm sure you guys are too. What I'm most excited for in this update is for the Chinook to being able to sling vehicles or even supplies. Now I say that because if you look at the bottom of the Chinook, on the revamped one, it actually has like these two uh, open slots to pretty much have the ropes or cables, whatever you want to call them, to be able to sling the vehicles or even able to transport the supplies. It isn't confirmed that it's coming in the next update, but I do hope it is, or at least in the future updates, and I'm safe to s I feel like it is, because with the operations that we have, or at least the missions that we have, to like bring home the supplies and to have the truck steal the supplies into the hangar, I feel like that's a clear giveaway, and it's a big major hint that we're going to have that, so I'm pretty much going to be looking forward to that one, because I feel like it was highly requested, and it would help a lot with factions, like... The reason why that is is because I don't feel like there's much of a support role. Now that there is something for you to do at base, like supplying up the Chinook, for example, vehicles, I feel like that would give the community more uh, satisfaction with this update. Honestly, man, these next set of updates are going to change Burem 5 for the better. I felt like the week one updates went very well for them, and I'm sure that these next few updates are going to be even better, and it's going to take Burem 5 off the charts with this one. And if they keep rolling out with these updates, man, I'm I, like I just said, it's, it's going to do so much better for them, and I uh, can't wait for that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, what you think about the FN Fal, and then you also have the new M9 Beretta being brought into the game. Most of you guys may know me for my PvP, or if not, the open world faction content, but honestly, I play this game a lot on the PvP, and that's where I spend a lot of my time on. And pretty much, I'm probably going to be coming out with a video about the 10v10 and 20v25 after the update drops, only because that's going to be the next set of updates for them. And uh, yeah, I feel like that deserves its own video. That being said, join the Discord in the description, drop a like on it if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and uh, yeah, turn on post notifications. Can't wait for this update. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of streams, a lot, a lot of videos, and with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.